Midwest and South, based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Oh, oh, oh. man, right now? I feel like they should get another chance. They should battle it out. That's not the way it works. Somebody's going home. Every single tattoo you do in here, you never know when this day's coming. <sighs> All right, guys. Who had the worst tattoo of the day? Jake's is the one that sticks out like a sore thumb just based on drawing. Let me just take another stab where I can focus on my tattoos. Put me back in the shop. Well, it misses the look of water artistically, but then technically, if we look at Money Mike's tattoo, look at the line work anywhere on Mike's. With another shot, I can show you what I'm made of. This competition, you never know what's coming, and here it is. Now you got to pay the piper. Today, for the drawing, I am going with Jake. My vote's for Mike. Jake strayed really far from the whole day, really. But I see the technical problems in Mike's. Yes, he's got a tornado in it, but it's boxed in this weird shape. And it's like, of all these elements, that's the one that has air. My vote's for Money Mike. The judges have decided, Money Mike, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I see exactly what the judges were saying when they put my piece up. On, on the screen, if I were them, I would have sent me home. Because I'm, I'm looking at that, and I know I can do better, but they're not judging me on what I can do. It's what I'm presenting to them now. You have a lot of application problems. You can see the brush strokes coming through. If you're doing a lot of this, it's never going to be as black as what it comes out of the bottle. If the piece was just flat, you know, uh, on a calf, you have to go with the flow of the body. You know, the blacks weren't punched in like they should have been. A uh, few straight lines here and there, and just my application overall. To me, it shows that I was nervous. It showed that I wasn't comfortable, and I don't, I don't like when my work says that about me. When I know I can do better. Dirty South. I'm with the represent. From the day I walked into this competition, I think I did my city well, just to show the artists in Baton Rouge that it can be done. Can make it out of Baton Rouge. You can make it to something bigger that you can imagine. Please pack your machines and close shop. You go back, go back to the drawing board, you know, throw some, throw some gasoline on the flames and, and just let it burn, man. I'm, I'm ready to get back to it, you know, working on perfecting my craft. That was rough. We're not done yet. Another artist is going home. Jesus Christ. Each of you will have one last chance to save yourself from elimination by facing off against each other. I thought so. Today, the Midwest and the South had to face off against each other, and you were being tested on consistency. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. You guys asked me to step up to the plate, and I designed something really cool. Let's call it like it is. Jordy still has inconsistencies of getting that color where it needed to be. It's tricky. Jordy overly produced, but what is wall to wall is solid. Juxtapose that to Jake's, you see a lot of wavering moments. If you match those reds to Jordy's reds, Jordy gets them. Technically, across the board, the biggest shortcoming of the day is the crown of Jake's tattoo. I need a final decision. Bone for Jake. Jake to go home. The judges have decided, Jake, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. This is terrible. Like, I literally, I, I put my everything into that tattoo, and I don't feel like I lost because I did a bad tattoo. I feel like I'm going home because it was literally the only small thing that might be just a tad bit worse than something else. The sore thumb in this tattoo is the crown. I understand what you're saying, but I didn't necessarily want it to be a focal point. That little part is the whole fucking demolition of this tattoo. So I understand what they got to do, but you know, you have to appease the judges, you have to appease the opinions, and the crown just wasn't cutting it. This crown just took you out, man. You're not going out on a bad tattoo. Please pack your machines and close shop. I didn't come to like, just hang out. I came to make tattoos. I came to fucking kill it. I came to compete. And I do not have one regret about any of the tattoos that I've made here. 